Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So I'm doing one more quick video, and that's about this situation at Smith College. Smith College is an elite, all women's college. It's like one of these Ivy League schools, you know, highly prestigious and everything. So you have this African student at the campus, you know, who is a resident advisor and a teaching assistant. Uh, she was in the common area or common room of this particular um, part of the campus and she was eating her lunch and reading. And you had somebody actually call the police on her and they described her as seeming out of place. You know, they thought that this woman didn't belong there just because of the color of her skin. And this is what the, the woman said. She said, all I did was be black. That was her crime, being black. Because of that, this person felt that it was appropriate to call the police on this sister. And we know about the police long history of harassment, police long history of abuse and police brutality. I mean, calling the police on somebody under these circumstances is absolutely ridiculous and it can jeopardize people's lives, their safety and their freedom. But this is what happens all the time. I mean, we've seen all these cases where people are calling police on people for having a barbecue, for um, waiting while black in a Starbucks. I mean, this is a part of a long trend. And I think that this speaks to the lack of diversity on Smith's college campus. You know, the fact that they have so few black per people there that if a black person is on campus, they seem out of place, they seem odd, or they seem like, um, they're an outsider. I mean, that speaks to the lack of diversity on that campus. And that university needs to do not just uh, training and uh, tolerance and diversity. They need to actually try to recruit more black students at that university. So it won't be such an anomaly to see a black person on campus. So this is just absolutely outrageous. And then this also is a reminder that to you know, black immigrants. You know, sometimes some of our brothers and sisters from the continent or the Caribbean or whatever may think that they are somehow better than African Americans. They may think that somehow they are viewed differently than African Americans. They may think that they have better values and better work ethics and all that kind of stuff and society will treat them better and accept them more than they do African Americans. And this is a prime example of how false that is. You know, whether you're from the Caribbean or from the, um, the continent or an African American, these people don't have much respect for black people, period. And, you know, because of our common experience, you know, through racism and discrimination, black people need to unite. And contrary to the words of people like, you know, Yvette Carnell, Pan-Africanism is not dead, and we need more Pan-Africanism. We need to unite around common issues. Black people, African people, worldwide need to unite. And this should be a wake-up call for our immigrant brothers and sisters so that they can realize that they are not special in the eyes of this society. They're viewed just like any other black person.